Hi everybody. In this video I would like to explain about the concept of attraction type moving iron instrument. After completion of this video the student will be able to explain the principle of moving iron attraction type instrument, construction of moving iron attraction type instrument, working and the torque expression. Regarding the principle it works on the principle of attraction of a single piece of soft iron into a magnetic field. For the explanation of this principle I am considering this diagram. It is consisting of a, a coil and a soft iron piece. This one is a coil or a solenoid structure. This solenoid structure means we are considering an uh, iron piece a coil is uh, wounding on this one we are giving the supply to this coil the current is passing through this coil we are applying the voltage V the current is passing through the coil is the I amperes. This is the solenoid structure. Whenever the current is passing through this coil, the soft iron pieces is produces the magnetic field. Like the same fashion, this coil produces the magnetic field. We are placing the soft iron piece near to this. This soft iron piece is fixed on the spindle. This soft iron piece is attracted towards the coil. This is the force of attraction. Then coming to the construction, here I am considering the two figures. This figure shows the main parts of the moving iron attraction type instrument. In this, we are having the fixed iron inside which we are having the moving iron. On the top of this fixed iron, we are having the coil. We are having a spindle at the middle. On the spindle, we are having a spiral spring. And this spiral spring of uh, hair thin. And on the top of this spiral spring, we are placing the pointer. This entire one, we will call the moving system. And for this coil, we are having the two terminals. We will call these terminals as the terminals of the meter. For showing the values of a parameter that is either the current or the voltage, we are considering the calibrated scale. This pointer is moves over the calibrated scale. Here in this it consists of a fixed coil or a solenoid through which the current is passing. A oval shaped soft iron piece is attached to the spindle. It can move in and out of the coil. A pointer is attached to the spindle so that it may deflect along with the moving iron over a calibrated scale. The spindle is pivoted in jewel bearings at both the ends. This spindle is giving the support for the entire moving system. The spiral spring is attached to the spindle to provide controlling torque. An aluminum vein is attached to the spindle which moves in a closed air chamber to provide damping torque. Then coming to the working. For the operation of every instrument, we will need the three torques that is deflecting torque, controlling torque and damping torque. When the instrument is connected in the circuit to measure the current or the operating current flows through the coil. This particular coil is behave like a magnet and therefore it attracts the soft iron piece towards it thus providing the deflecting torque TD. The deflecting torque causes the pointer attached to the moving system moves from zero position over the calibrated scale. 
This deflecting torque depends on the value of magnetic flux or in other words the current flowing through the coil. The spiral spring on the top of the instrument which is on the moving system offers the controlling torque Tc which depends on the angle of twist. When the deflecting torque is equal to the controlling torque Td is equal to Tc. This expression is also called as the equilibrium condition. The pointer will come to the rest at a position. Then coming to the torque expression for the deflecting torque. Deflecting torque which tends to produce the force. The force F pulling the soft iron piece towards the coil depends upon the field strength H produced by the coil and the pole strength M developed by the iron piece. Therefore, the force F is directly proportional to M into H. It may be written as F is proportional to H square. It means that this M is proportional to H. Therefore, deflecting torque Td is proportional to F that is F is proportional to H square. Therefore, finally Td is proportional to the I square. Since H is proportional to I. And controlling torque Tc is proportional to theta. At the steady state condition, Tc is equal to Td. That means theta is proportional to the I square for the DC. And theta is proportional to the I square RMS value. It means that root mean square value for the AC. Thank you.